Hello, I'm Leo Maris Reyes, Microsoft MVP for four years in a row, and today I want to give you the welcome to the .NET MAUI challenges. But um, what's that? How does it work? These are different types of challenges in which we will be exploring about .NET MAUI topics. This will be launching periodically, and the most important goal of that is that you will be able to continue practice and continue growing up in your .NET MAUI career. So join with us and let's continue learning about .NET MAUI. But what about the challenge structure? Each one of the challenge has exactly the same structure. This one is composed by three important points that you have to keep in mind. The first one is the statement of the challenge. You will always see an image which will be giving you a description of what the challenge expects from you. And also, you will be able to see three possible options about your challenge, but you only have to select one. The second point is the solution. In each challenge, you will have the option that solves this one. It will be hidden so that I recommend you first to analyze it and then click it to see the current answer with its respective explanation. And finally, the static resource. Once you see the current answer, each challenge solution will be having an static resource so you can delve into it and continue studying about this topic. At some point in your development life, you will need to interact with the data time. And that's why in this challenge, you will be able to explore the Telerix data type pick. The specific problem here is, what is the picker mode of the image? As you can see, we have three possible solutions that each one of them has exactly the same structure, but the difference between them is the picker mode value. For example, the first one has the drop down. The second one has the pop value and the last one has the iron value. You need to analyze it and to explore which one of these options is the peak mode that represents this image. So, see you in the next video with the solution. The right solution is the option A, but why? The key point here is to use the drop-down picker mode to get exactly this appearance for our data time picker. But let's explore the letter B and C. For example, the letter B has a grid structure, a write structure, but in this case is using the pop up picker mode. And the pop up picker mode has an appearance like this. So it's different than the result that we want. But let's return to the letter C. Here, we are using the picker mode with alert as a value. And the alert value doesn't exist in the Telerix data type picker. I imagine that you are in love with this amazing Telerix control. So that's why I'm leaving you two important links to continue learning about this one. For example, Let's explore each one of them. Here we have the Teledic UI for the Net Maui Data Time Picker, and you will be able to see different descriptions. For example, Overview, Extreme Format, Spinner Format, Placeholder Text, Custom Templates, and so on. Continue exploring. But now I want to show you this one. This is um, the data time picker implementation. It's a different documentation from Teledix. And here you will be able to see the key features and the next step for its implementation. If you go in here, you will see the overview, visual structure, getting starting, formatting, data range, and a lot of different topics as you can see here to be able to implement in an easy way this amazing control. So I hope you like it and see you in the next Nenmao challenge.